So the AND truth table, it's really simple to calculate. All we need to do is in Excel, if you navigate to formulas on the menu and select the first cell that you want to start your formula in and from the formulas menu on the ribbon if you go to logical and select that and if you select and from that list now you get this function arguments pop-up window and it allows you to select the cell to complete your argument your or your and truth table so all we need to do in logical one because we have two inputs we select our first input which would be cell b7 and it just enters b cell uh, cell b7 into that first field for logical one and then we select the logical two field and we enter our second cell which is cell c7 and it does give you an option to add further fields if required but we're just using two inputs for the moment so we select ok and then all we need to do is to use excel's autofill function and copy down the AND formula so if I copy that select that cell in the bottom right corner and just copy it down or drag it down and it will populate that formula for the rest of those input states so for 0 0 we have false because this is an AND statement 0 1 and 0 false and then we have 1 and 1 is true because 1 and 1 which is our truth table equals true so again it's fairly straightforward for the OR formula or for the OR truth table so again we select the first cell that we want to enter our OR formula into if you're currently enjoying the video remember to subscribe so all we need to do is to enter our cell where we want to choose the formula to be entered into and again from logical if we select that and if we select the OR formula again it gives us this function argument pop-up window so all we need to do is select the cells that we wish to use for our inputs so we want to use H seven for our first logical statement and then in our logical two we want to select i7 then we click ok and again if i use the autofill function to drag this formula down you can see the output field has been populated and because this is an or two table so we have a 0 and a 1 so that input is true we have one input true on this row and then we have both inputs true on the last row bye bye